Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome to the MMA Empire. As usual, I will try to provide a link in the description to either the fight or to the archive videos after the fight for you guys to watch at your own leisure. It's getting hard to find those though, I mean UFC is really cracking down the last day I wanted for my channel to get in trouble for it, so we'll have to see about that. Oh, and for anybody wondering, you are watching UFC Undisputed 3 gameplay. Unfortunately, they didn't have a Stefan Bonner character, so I had to create one of my own. Personally, I think he looks a little bit better than the real-life version. Hopefully, some of you guys agree with me. Let me know in the comments. But with that out of the way, UFC 153 Anderson Silva versus Stefan Bonner, October 13th, 2012. Hosting Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. That, you know, this is something that I'm just excited to see. This is this is a fun fight. I mean, to be completely honest, Silva versus Bonner, I wasn't expecting it until they announced it. Um, not that, I, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I like seeing Silva fight for the title. Um, you know, it's you know good for him that he can handle himself at lightweight, and he can more than handle himself. I don't mean to say that like, um, you know, like he's just squeaking by. The man, <laughs> the man is a powerhouse no matter where he uh, steps into the octagon. No matter what weight class it is. But it just seems interesting that it's Bonner versus Silva. I mean, Silva has not lost a fight uh, since 2006 uh, against Yushinokami, as I'm sure you all know. And the dude is just on a tear right now, you know, defending the title um, against some really good guys. I mean, you know, even uh, his rematch bout against uh, Chael Sonnen, and then to defend his loss against Yushinokami. He's beat both them, Vitor Belfort. I mean, the dude is just beating some big names. Um, some of the only guys who've done some damage to him. Uh, so good for him. But, you know, Bonner, he is on the first, uh, you know, significant win streak that the man has had in a long time. Since, like, 2006, really. Um, you know, the, he's up. Okay. Bonner right now is on a three-fight win streak. Before that, he was on a three-fight losing streak. Then two-fight wins two losses and then before that three wins so anyways what i'm saying is um the dude's just been losing like crazy uh, you know what i'm saying he's been blessed to be able to stay in the ufc but um you know i think this fight uh it's i don't know i feel like it's almost a joke because you know when silva fought forrest forrest was a big name at the time not that he's not a big name now but you know obviously uh you know he's fallen out of um you know the mainstream you know what i'm saying you have guys like gsp and uh henderson and stuff like that going on right now um dudes with the title that people are talking about um but you know bonner although he's on a good win streak he's really not you know a hot name of discussion so i don't know i feel like it's a little weird that they're giving him the fight but you know hey you know i love bonner um, you know, former um, Ultimate Fighter star, and he's definitely proved himself in terms uh, of the heart of the fan. He, you know, him and Griffin, it's awesome that they made it that far in the Ultimate Fighter because they're so similar in that when they fight, they just fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. Like, I think he's going to go into the ring with Silva. He's not going to respect his hands, and he's just going to go for it. And that's what I love. It's not that Bonner's stupid. Um, he just wants to fight, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I love. Uh, but, you know, that brings us to the next topic, which is, you know, knockout, submission, or decision. Um, I don't think it's going to be a decision because, well, number one, um, you know, Anderson Silva hasn't gone the distance since uh, Damian Maya back in 2010. And um, <coughs> Bonner, he, he doesn't care, you know what I'm saying? Um, not that he hasn't gone the distance, but... He fights, he fights to fight, you know what I'm saying? He goes for it, um, he gets cut, he gets beat up, uh, but he, he doesn't care, you know what I'm saying? So I think he's going to go in there. I think he's going to try to trade with Silva. He's going to give the fight or the uh, the fight that the fans want to see. Um, I definitely think the best strategy that Bonner has is to fight the ground game. But the only issue with that is Silva's great at the ground game, you know what I'm saying? As we saw with Chael Sonnen, um, and not really since then or much before that, um, other than his ability uh, to get off the ground. Um, I mean, the man, uh, he's great at jiu-jitsu. It's just that we never have to see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, people just associate him with, uh, you know, his Muay Thai. But the dude's a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So, you know, there you go. Uh, but, you know, then again, so is Bonner. Um, but, you know, Bonner, it, out of his 14 wins, half of them, seven, have come by submission. So, you know, I think if he's going to go for any victory, it has to be submission because there's no way he's going to knock out Silva. Um, and there's no way it's going to go the distance because I don't think either guys are going to try and let that happen, especially um, especially Silva because, you know, Bonner's last two fights have gone the distance, but he hasn't fought against Anderson Silva, you know what I'm saying? So, 
Um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I, I definitely think the best game plan for Bonner is, um, you know, tr I guess try to hit the counters. Well, it, you know, it's going to be hard to say. I I'd say try to hit the counters against Silva and try to get down to the ground and go for submission. Um, you know, chances are he might get submitted as well, but, you know, we'll see. It's going to be interesting. Um, but to be honest, I, I see Anderson pulling off a, a, a knockout or TKO for this fight. And it's going to be a great fight. You know, it's an entertaining fight. It's for the fans, honestly. You know, there's no uh, title involved. This is a fight for the fans, which, you know, you got to love when they do a fight you know is specifically for the audience. That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm definitely excited about this. UFC 153, October 13th, 2012. Uh, so make sure you guys check it out. It's going to be great. Um, so, yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, love you guys. Have a great day.